Loved ones, welcome to Busy Bites, where you give me five minutes, I give you healing. I give you my energy. I give you light. I give you love. I give you perspective. Five minutes or less. It's of the utmost importance that you find yourself in no contact in that toxic or narcissistic relationship. And the reason that I say that is because narcissists and toxic people are fear-based individuals. All right. They're not operating from a place of logic. They're not operating from a place of love. They're not operating from a place of perspective, compassion, empathy. They are standing on shaky ground. And we are fighting to be in a connection with someone who is on shaky ground. Think about that. You're sacrificing yourself and your works and your 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 good fortune and your blessing and your prosperity for someone who was standing on shaky ground with you and they're using your energy to fund the other connections that they're in because they do not generate their own uh, energy pay attention they cannot generate their own energy they need you they need you you are much more powerful than a narcissist or a toxic person could ever be it is spiritual all is mind all is mind all is mind and it is a fight it is a fight and it is up to you to decide that it's time for you to begin listening to your own voice again. They are fear-based individuals. Scary people are dangerous because they're not operating of a place of logic and they're not putting anyone else first ever. They're thinking about themselves, what their needs are, what they don't have, what they didn't get. That's not fruitful. That's bad energy, bro. Don't fight to remain in an unhealthy, lopsided unbalanced toxic connection with someone that's the definition of a trauma bond we've discussed that on the channel a fear-based individual is dangerous to be around all right they're unstable and they're afraid of you coming back to yourself they're afraid of you beginning to connect with that voice inside of you they're afraid of you beginning to adhere to your inner wish intuition they're afraid of the god that lives inside of you they're afraid of you loving yourself they're afraid of losing you because of what you give them because of your resources not because they love you people are not to be possessed they're to be experienced why are we fighting to be in connection with people that are looking to possess us look at me when i speak to you i cannot be possessed i am a creation of god i am his vessel i am his i was bought by him i don't even belong to me so why would i allow someone else ever again to attempt to possess me i don't even belong to me amen i'm looking to shake you up and wake you up and it's being done out of a place of love and experience and a desire for us to do better and be better as a people all right when someone loves you and values you they help to exalt you they hold you accountable they speak life into you when you need it and they compliment you when you're doing well they show you love. They give you perspective. They join you on a journey of exploration and beauty and, and tribulation and, 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 you know, just learning together, building together and making each other better, sharpening each other's iron. That is a healthy connection. We are not to be possessed by someone. They are afraid of you being in relationship with the God that you serve respectfully, however you worship, whatever you believe. They're afraid of you being close to your family. They want to separate you and isolate you. Pay attention to what's going on around you. That's not love and that's not healthy. And I must bring to the forefront that these connections are somewhere along the line a reflection of something that we feel about ourselves that we would allow ourselves to be in that position but the beauty of that is you are in a position to make correction about it we are not going to persecute or condemn ourselves for finding ourselves in that connection but we will be held accountable for allowing ourselves to remain there god is good life is good once we learn how to live it pay attention and hold yourself to a higher standard set your boundaries don't be so afraid to walk away from something that it is owning you and owning your mind even when they're not even there it's deep and it's real and while they're doing it to you these toxic people are doing the same things in cycles to other people why would you fight for that they're afraid of losing your resources they're afraid of your financial funding they're afraid of your stability they're afraid of not being at your address they're afraid of not being able to operate your vehicles they're afraid of losing you i don't want to be in a connection with something or someone that i cannot walk away from and that cannot walk away from me because of fear we will not let fear drive our decisions we must be strong for our families we must be strong for our children we must be tall upright respectable individuals i believe in you so you be sure to do the same
Until next time, it's Biz Lifestyle.